What's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Why? Well, we're talking aquascaping, but yeah, we're doing more maintenance. Uh, I've got to unclog my air stones, and there is an easy way to do it. Uh, I have a few shout outs uh, to people who have made most recent comments. Uh, I appreciate everyone, by the way. Uh, I had a lot of new subscribers. Uh, my son and I, we just blew past 700. You don't always see Alex on this channel, but he does participate on occasion. He, he helps more with the uh, plants. We, we started with plants. We're the plant guys. Uh, but uh, shout outs. Oh, and whether or not 700 is a lot, you know, I, that's arbitrary. We didn't start this channel, you know, to make money or anything. We just do it for fun. And honestly, I never thought I'd get past more than uh, 10 subscribers, so uh, I, I appreciate it, and I, I do it as an extension of the of my hobby to share things that I've learned um, and to generate conversation about the hobby. Because the first year I was doing this, uh, I you know my my wife had pretty much just had it with all of the uh, plant talk in this house. Uh, she wouldn't even do house plants anymore. So like she. She hates plants now, so it all happens here in the basement, in the storage room under the stairs. Yeah, that's where I, that's where I have my fun. All right, uh, and shout outs to Rahan, Casey, Chris, and Stoney. Thanks, everyone. Pardon me. So, uh, whenever I'm uh, about to make a video, um, I'll always like YouTube to see what people are looking at. Uh, as as advice or tips, you know, or facts, because you know there's all kinds of wacky information out there. But anyway, so I looked up what people are doing to clean their air stones, and the way that I do it, I assumed many people had figured that this out by now, but apparently not. I only saw two different options on YouTube, and uh, many of them, the majority of them, uh, it's not looked up that often. But if you do put an uh, unclog air stone. You'll find maybe six videos, and all of them but two all suggest soaking your air stones in hydrogen peroxide, like overnight, which is, you shouldn't ever need to be using strange and unusual chemicals to do any kind of cleaning whatsoever with your tanks, period. Uh, you, you know, uh, is hydrogen peroxide poisonous? I, I know it can make fish, some fish, a little ill, it just... Why would you do that? And then another video, uh, this one uh, this one had a lot of views, where uh, someone was showing how to clear out a clogged air stone uh, with an air compressor. <laughs> you know, it was a short video, and he hooked the air compressor up to the hose and did like a blast, and you just saw the air stone just blast all the muck out. Um, so, yeah, it worked, but uh, let's think about practical here. Uh, raise your hand if you have a air compressor just lying around willy-nilly to use. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't. Um, that's just ridiculous. Uh, so, there is an easy way to do it, and I'm going to show you what mine, what my air bubbler uh, stone looks like right now, and then I'll do a simple cleaning, and you'll see what it looks like uh, afterwards. Alright, so here's my air stone, and I've got a couple projects going on. Over here, as you can see, that is a terrestrial fern I'm attempting to turn into an aquatic plant. I've heard it can be done. You guys won't see the uh, results for quite some time, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, here's my bubbler. It appears to be working well, but then I look up here, and all I see is just some fizz. I want my roaring bubbles. I want it to look like the water's boiling, not fizzing. So let's give it a clean. I'm going to clean just half of it so you can see the difference, and I'm going to show you what I do, and it's very simple. Everyone will have what you need to do this. All right. Hola. We return. All right. Simple solution. Marestone. And yes, you can do this on the little ones too that are for like the 10 gallon tanks. You know, they're just like a little nugget. They're round or like rectangular looking. Anyway, it works on any of them. So I have my air stone. As you can see, it's got some 
muck build up on there. Now you need either a razor blade or a pair of scissors and in the same spot you're just going to drag it over and you'll start to see the muck coming off. This is all awkward, but I'm just going to do half of it, and let me see if I can show you, like, dirty to clean. There we go. See that side? The muck is off. All right, so I'm going to finish doing that, and then let's see what it looks like. All right. The moment of truth. Did my technique work? Well, you tell me. So, clearly, there's a difference because the scissors worked. See this side? Now look up here. You can even tell from the top that the left side has stronger bubble flow than the right. So I will finish all the way across. Get this bubbler going. Simple tip, simple solution, no air compressor, no hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you know, none of that. No sulfuric acid. Nope. Nope. Not here. Not happening. All right. Short video, simple solution, and I'm appalled that there is no video on this, but also grateful that I get to share that. Because uh, right now there are currently a quarter million people who all think that the best way to clean an airstone is with a bunch of hydrogen peroxide. Come on, fish people. Think smart. Think smarter, not harder. We can do it together. Let's share this video around so people can see. There's actually a video on there that says you can clean your air stone for a dollar. I shouldn't have to pay to clean anything in my aquarium. <laughs> okay? So saying it only costs a dollar to clean your air stone, it's free. All right? So, yeah, let's get the word out on the streets. And um, if you're having a bad day, you're down in the dumps, get up and do something about it. I appreciate you all. We'll catch you next time.